In addition to genetic evidence linking China to Africa, archaeological evidence has recorded close to 100 pyramids around the city of Xi in central China. So what did you find? We did not see any, even one single individual that were, could be considered as the descendant of the Homo erectus in China. Rather, everybody was a descendant of our ancestors from Africa. This site is also well known as the location of the famous life-size terracotta warriors. Further study of this history and art of the Shang and the Chao dynasties in China will reveal even more African influence. China's first dynasty and emperor were Africoid or of black origins. Founded by King Te, the earliest documented rulership in China was the Shang or the Xiang dynasty. The Shang were credited with unifying China's earliest elements to form their first civilization. The Shang were given the name the Naki, Na meaning black and Qi meaning man. The first Chinese emperor, the legendary Fuxi, was a woolly-haired black man. There have been efforts made to cover up the facts. Even the original Chinese, called Li Min, and the Ainu of Japan were Africans. Also, there are books written to prove this fact. Such as the African presence in early Asia, and there are many others. The first Chinese emperor, the legendary Fuxi, was without a doubt black, and his African brothers and sisters established government, social institutions, and cultural inventions. They are credited with the creation of the I Ching or the Book of Change, which is the oldest, most revered system of prophecy. These African offspring were responsible for the building of China's Earth Mounds pyramids. The pyramids in Japan are not made of stone indigenous to Japan. It is said that small black people built them during the Mu civilization. We know that the pyramids built around the world were all built by black people, as no other people have a history of building pyramids. They were responsible in 210 for construction an elaborate tomb for Shen Shi Huzhuan. His body is guarded by an army of soldiers, warriors made out of the terracotta. They are also credited with building the Great Wall of China. There is strong evidence that the Great Wall of China was built by black people. There is also evidence of a substantial population of blacks in early China. Archaeological studies have located an infrastructure which was inhabited by blacks in early Chinese history and reports of major kingdoms ruled by blacks are frequent in Chinese documents. Chinese folklore speak often of these blacks and mention an emperor of Chinese named Li, companion of the emperor Shaw Wen of Wei, who was spoken of being black African.